all Gigafactory progress for the second week of February, welcome to My Tesla Weekend. Giga Shanghai. Even with the two-week Chinese New Year coming up, there was a lot of progress here, including on the East Access Road and Bridge, which are essentially done, only awaiting a final layer of pavement. The new steel structure is humming along nicely, but we'll cover that in a moment. The new steel building in the northeast corner is stampeding ahead nicely with significantly more steel in place and concrete poured inside of it. The deeper foundation area dug out last week is now filled and curing, and we can see more ducting skyways connecting it to the power plant in the northwest. If you haven't already, please subscribe since it's the only way YouTube knows that these are the kinds of videos that you like, and give it a thumbs up if you find it valuable, because when it comes to begging for these things, YouTube is just the worst. It's not us creators, I promise, it's the dreaded algorithm that dooms us if we don't. The large steel structure to the north of the Phase 2 building now has more roofing and a number of significant wall panels in place and continues toward completion in the northern section. Along the east side, by the sliver wedge, the footing work continues, and it's progressed up into the area between buildings formerly used for temporary offices and storage. Something is being built here, and it may be done in the next two to three months, though we don't yet know what it will be used for. I'd be very curious to hear your thoughts on this entire area in the comments below. Giga Berlin. Thanks, as always, to the amazing Tobias Lind for allowing use of his footage, and although the weather outside has been frightful, there is still some signs of delightful progress in the automotive powerhouse that is Germany. While most of the progress is taking place inside, the exterior does continue its progress. There are more roof and wall segments along the southern edge of the building with plenty of workers, despite the inclement weather and the fact that this was shot on the weekend when there are the fewest workers on site. In addition to the roof trusses and coverings, there are also more exterior wall panels on the southern face of this site. A quick thank you to my Patreons who enjoy early access, bonus content, and keep the channel running for as little as a buck a month. I can't do it without you guys, and your support means the world to me while I ramp up in my efforts to take this project full time. There are more roof and wall panels visible in the southeast corner as well. Along the east side, there is significant new areas completed with windows, wall panels, and more.
And while the concrete cathedral looks virtually unchanged, the area to the south of it shows significant progress. Giga Texas. The casting area in the northeast now has most of its roof segments, and while the weather looks good in this shot, it's only because this footage is out of date. Freezing rain has shut down the site for most of the week, so this is the best we have. You can see that the steel structure now extends to and almost fully connects with the formerly freestanding building to the south of it. Massive amounts of concrete has been poured within these buildings, mostly on higher floors, as they move forward toward completion. There are now a significant number of areas inside the structure where HVAC hardware has been installed, attached to the roof, the ceiling, to handle ductwork, and a fair amount of galvanized steel duct segments are already visible on site. Though not in this shot. The steel structure, which was only approaching the Stamping Cathedral last week, has now extended all the way to its edge for attachment, and a lot more steel framing has been completed in this area as well. The first exterior panel has gone up on the east side of the Stamping Cathedral, and a lot more concrete work has been completed inside. My Giga Texas progress tracker should be up tomorrow, Monday, and there was an error in the equation noticed by an astute viewer last week, which will change the estimated completion date. If you're not subscribed, consider doing it just so you get to see that, because this week's update is going to be a bit different than I expected on Friday, and way different than I expected when I first caught the mistake. I mean, come on guys, how many YouTubers admit when they make mistakes? On the west face of this building, you'll see there's a number of more concrete panels in place, uh, moving this space quickly toward isolation from the weather, but we're not quite there yet. Many of the footings underway last week in this area have been completed, and the new steel structure has gone from just a few sticks to an area large enough to play a proper football game, as they do in Texas, assuming you don't mind periodically slamming into something as hard as a steel column, which is also traditional for the football they play in Texas. I mean, prove me wrong? The west side steel structure hasn't changed much in size, but in terms of completion, the amount of concrete floors poured has grown significantly, and there has been work done on the fire suppression water loop line as well. In the northwest corner, Geopier work appears near completion, but I keep saying that every week, and every week they just keep bringing more gravel, so what do I know? I mean, ah, the battery building that's going up in this northwest corner is going to be heavy. That's all I know. Let me know in the comments when you think the main building will be done and when the first customer deliveries will begin. Stay tuned, stay juicy, and I can't wait to see you on Monday when I may or may not have to eat a not insignificant amount of crow.